Hi, I'm Mini Painter Meg and in this video I'm going to show you my technique for painting Mega Gargant skin and nails. I'm going to be using Wildwood Contrast Paint as a base for this scheme and I'll be applying this with a medium layer brush, about the same as a size 1 brush. I've primed my Gargant with Wraithbone Spray and now I'm going to apply the first layer of Wildwood. I absolutely love contrast paints for stuff like this but there are some tricks to using them effectively. I find that two coats are always better than one and I always go a little lighter on my first coat than my second. This helps to prevent any pooling and patchiness or shiny areas once it's dry. I'm not worried about being particularly neat with this first coat, I just want to make sure the coverage is as even as possible. For me, I find a smaller brush definitely helps with this, and I'll use this medium layer brush on the rest of the model as well. If you do get paint on any of the other details like the rope or the toenails, don't worry too much because you can always paint back in with the wraith bone. I've now got a nice even layer on all of the areas I wanted to paint, so I'll leave this to completely dry before I start the second coat. As you can see, that layer is now dry, and we're beginning to see what makes contrast so magical. There are a few white spots where the paint's pulled away when it's dried, but these will be covered with this second coat, so I'm not too worried. I'm going slightly heavy with this second coat because I want the paint to go into all of those recesses, but I'm still looking out for any paint pooling. If you do find your paint is too thick in places, you can easily take it off with a clean, dry brush. Once that second coat's on, go make yourself a cup of tea or beverage of your choice because we'll need that coat to be completely dry for the next step. Next up is a spot of dry brushing with some Steel Legion Drab using a small dry brush. Because we've used contrast, there are already some lovely highlights and shades in here. So for a quick tabletop ready paint job, you could just leave it there, but this next step really elevates it. Take a small amount of the Steel Legion Drab onto your dry brush and remove most of it on a piece of kitchen paper or something similar until there's only a tiny amount of paint left on your brush. 
Now I'm going to lightly go over the skin in circular movements and this will pick out all of those raised areas. As you can see, just an extra minute or so of painting really makes a difference. And again, the skin looks great like this if you want to leave it here, but I'm going to add some extra highlights and texture in the next step. I'll be using Steel Legion Drab again here, but this time with my Insane Detail brush from Army Painter. This is roughly the same size as a 5-0 brush. For this step, I'm going to pick out any raised areas of detail I can see on the sculpt, like these bits on the soles of his feet and on his heel. I'm also going to pick out any folds in the skin. When I'm painting details like this, I always make sure my brush is slightly damp to make the paint flow a bit better, but you can also thin the paint on a palette. To add some more texture and to make this Krakeny to look like he's been in the bath for just a little bit too long, I'm also going to paint some thin horizontal lines over anything that looks like there's muscle or tendon under the skin or any other larger raised areas. Just carry on picking out all of those little raised details on the foot and on the toes. This process does take a while, but it makes a big difference. Now we're ready for the truly gross part, the nails. For this, I'll be using Rakarth Flesh, Agrax Earthshade and Wraith Bone. First up, I'm going to give him a Rakarth Flesh pedicure. Using my medium layer brush, I'm making sure that each toenail is fully covered and I'm trying to avoid any areas of skin. Once again, make sure you let this completely dry before we move on to the next step. Now his nails are dry, I'm going to give each toenail a heavy wash with Agrax Earthshade using the same brush. Really push the shade into the recesses at the side and at the nail base. This guarantees a truly disgusting looking nail. That shade is now dry and his nails are already making me feel a little bit sick but I'm just going to add another couple of details. I'm using my Insane Detail brush again and I'm going to paint thin lines of Rakarth flesh from the tip of the nail ending roughly halfway down making all the lines slightly different lengths. We want them to look like fibres on his nails. I'm now going to add a few shorter lines using Wraith Bone, just to add that bit more depth to the nails. They're looking pretty disgusting now, and there's just one more step to go. The final step for the nails is painting the cuticles. I've used Rakarth Flesh and my detail brush again here, and I'm just tracing around the raised bits of skin surrounding the nail bed.
In my opinion, this really finishes off the look and makes those nails pop. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you'd like to see more, be sure to like, share and subscribe and ring that bell to keep up to date on any future uploads. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.